The tension is palpable and you can understand why. Two high-level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up. It's Tottenham Hotspur. They take on Chelsea and we're live on EA TV. Two London clubs, but from different parts of the capital. Spurs from the north, Chelsea from the west, and our venue is the magnificent Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, Stuart Robson is positioned next to me, and Stuart, this should be fascinating. Well, as you mentioned, Derek, they're not exactly neighbours, but it's still a London derby, and one that has become very important to both clubs in recent years. This should be a very good game between two excellent teams. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Well, it's a back four, a narrow midfield three, and a very disconnected front three. But if the midfield players give good support to the central striker, this 4 3 3 system could work really well today. And space to cross it. Spurs with the corner. And short it is. Son. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And we're looking at a player who seems to be at the peak of his powers, Hyung Min Son. In what way might he contribute today, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot in him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Mikhailo Mudrik and the counter looks on here options available he's in behind and a goal an early boost for them the first goal of the game they're off and running Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. Away they go again. Now can Spurs come up with an answer? Pedro Porro. And now with Kulusevsky. James Madison. Pat Matarsar. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Son. And making headway. Oh, to level the match. And the ball is loose. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, you do sense that Spurs will get the equaliser at some point. But at the moment, they are still trailing due to a brilliant stop by the goalkeeper. That was magnificent from him. And on the front foot again, no let-up from them at all. No foul. Spurs advantage. Taken away from Son. Sterling ready. Well, nothing comes of it. That's a good looking shot. Well, just off target, but it goes down as a chance to extend their lead. Well, it was a decent effort, but in the end, not quite good enough, was it? Well, the referee deciding to let the play flow, but now it will be a booking, Stuart. Well, as soon as the ball went dead, he was always going to book him, and he's absolutely right to do so.
And Chelsea looking dangerous. But they took care of the situation defensively. Pedro Porro. Can he finish? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. So, 2-0 now. Bisuma. Pat Matar Sar. Madison with it. Son. This attack looks highly promising. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Thiago Silva. Superbly read and executed. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, it fizzled out. Bisuma. Pedro Porro. Son. Good looking sequence. Son. And they could get one back here. There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Well, that makes it interesting, and suddenly he's showing a bit of concern here. Just look at his face. So away they go again, and you sense the momentum may well be with Spurs now. Fernandez. Well, they'll see it as very disappointing to give it away as cheaply as that. That's really good and effective physical play. Romero. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Son. Mikhailo Mudrik. Half time then here in the English capital. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space, and his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. They get the ball rolling once more. Chelsea in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this is over. Spurs trying to use space to good effect. How about the cross? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Counter-attacking chance. Sterling. They need to get bodies back. Moises Caicedo. An effective challenge. And space to cross it. 
And there the move ends for now. Well, no stopping him. Gallagher. And players waiting at the far post. Danger averted for now. And an astute piece of defending. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. And the substitution will occur now. Kulusevsky. This could square the game, but the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. They favoured a short one here. Madison. Magnificent goalkeeping, and now we find out it was offside anyway. Gusto. Went in strongly to win the ball. Pressure applied. Can he finish? Oh, keeper dealt with it. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. So the corner played into the box. And the ball is loose. And the attack fizzling out. We'll just listen to these Spurs fans. They're driving their team forward here. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. James Madison. Bisuma. there to intercept Kulusevsky Dejan Kulusevsky well Chelsea being afforded too much space here forcing him and stopping the danger well, for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Nasty landing on the shoulder for him there, and he's in real discomfort. He's a tough boy, I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. Oh, breezing past him. But stat defending when it mattered.
And Vicario has it now. Madison with it. And Spurs have to be bold in these trying circumstances. Well, winning back possession. And we've entered the final five minutes. Oh, what an opportunity! Chance, maybe. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Well, the referee remaining very much in control. Now the card, and it's yellow. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. He's driven in the corner. Really good build-up, but no end product. Counter-attacking chance. Giovanni Lo Celso. Given away by Tottenham. Enzo Fernandez. And the flag has gone up, offside. <laughs> and the deflection means a corner. Played over. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. So the final whistle now. It goes down as a victory for Chelsea to the delight of their fans around the world. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. And he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.